Welcome everyone, this is John Sheely as Director of Research and Development in IamADayTrader.com. This is going to be a short video to discuss the recent changes in the daily ranges, not just in crude, but E-mini S&P, and we'll take a look at other several other commodities. What's happening is the ranges are beginning to narrow, and I'll show you the impact in your trading. But as you know, we must review our risk disclaimers. Trading carries a high degree of risk, and trading may not be suitable for all persons. Past returns are not indicative of future results. Please review our risk disclaimer very carefully. Additionally, I place our hypothetical disclaimer as well. In IamADayTrader.com, we create a great amount of research and the creation of indicators and strategies. Like other research firms, we use hypothetical data to create our discoveries. Please review our hypothetical disclaimer very carefully. What I've put in the chart here is the daily crude. Now I've put the CL. That actually is a what's known as a continuous contract. Therefore you can look at prices not for a particular crude month but you're able to do a continuous contract look at for actually many years. At the bottom, this is average true range. And this is actually what we're going to discuss here. Notice the average true range in the last oh, four weeks or so in the new year. And what you're looking at is 1.397. That is 1.4 average true range. So in other words, approximately, as far as the dollar's value, you're looking at on a daily range of about $1,400. Again, that's ATR. What you see is how low it is. It rises, of course, when you see large ranges. And so you can see here in regards to the price range, the average two range went from 1.4 now, but previously it was 2. That would be the value of about $2,000 a contract. Because remember, crude for each tick is $10. We had a small range here as well for a short period of time in November. But what I'm showing you here is that it's actually been very low for quite some time. Let me give you a little bit of history here. On the daily changes, I now have shown you for all of 2016. And you can see most of the time, it's either where from 1500 to almost 2000, 2000 and plus. So there were little time periods in which the ATR is low, but not for very long. That's what's unique about the range for the new year so far. It's extremely low. Now I'm going to give you a little more history. Let's go back several years here. Now in this chart, I've put the weekly chart up and the ATR is of course of each bar that means a weekly look how low it is currently 329 that means basically on a average range on a weekly basis is 3300 and you can see how low it is we've seen some low ATRs in a weekly basis but we haven't really seen that since 2014 but take a look at a little longer history here now I'm showing you the chart going all the way back to 2010. The average true range here is basically anywhere from $4,000 a contract, that which means an ATR of four. And you can see that it's not unusual at all back at that time, particular time of which you would see four, five, maybe even six average true range. So the history shows you that the ranges have normally much larger than we are now. Now saying that, when you have higher prices, the range of course on a normal day or in a normal week increases. That would be true in regards to stocks as well and ETFs. So it's not unusual of course for the ATR to go up when you have larger price ranges. But I just wanted to show you the, how much and how different it is based upon the trading of the last 10 years versus currently. Now what I've done is gone to the E-mini S&P, that is the ES symbol. Look how low 
the average range here. Now that's a 15.68. Now as far as dollars, remember that one point is $50. On an average day, the dollar value of the range of a day is $750. That's actually very narrow. Just think, $750. Remember in crude, we currently, it's relatively low, but on average day in crude, as far as the value of each daily range, crude oil is about 1400 So you can see the big difference on a E-mini S&P recently on these ranges. Now I've put the 233 tick chart in crude oil, and we have our strategies. Faces the 8 versus 34, the crossover. But we also have the 34 bounce, 89 bounce, maybe 200 from time to time, divergences. But let's take a look at the impact if ranges begin to get narrow. Here we have a bounce against the 89 and 34. Once we had to close underneath the 8 exponential moving average, it did come down about 5, 6 cents. But that's all. Normally, you'd, you'd like a at least a $100, $150 profit target. But if you narrow your ranges down, especially in a small range in regard to the use of a 233 tick bar, that makes it more and more difficult to obviously reach your goals for a particular trade. Here, for example, we had a 8 above 34 in this area. And once again, we had a rally, and you could make five, six, seven cents, fifty, sixty, seventy dollars. But if you were trying to look for ten, twelve, a hundred and fifty dollars, meaning fifteen cents, it's not there. And so you're seeing again and again that our strategies recently have been shortened because the range of the entire day is narrowing down. Now, there are, of course, explosions of price, but they're relatively quick. I'm showing you here a price explosion in a vertical run, but it's very, very quick. That run right in here of 10, 15 cents was in less than 10 seconds. Some of this, the first five, six cents, was one or two seconds or less. So we do have explosions in price. We do have expansions of range. But what's happening recently is it sits sideways now for almost an hour. And then all of a sudden it makes a hard vertical run. And then it goes right back into a very narrow range again. That's actually very usual in regards to a price when you have a very narrow range on a daily basis. Now I'm showing you the E-mini S&P, and the reason being is this phenomena is impacting E-mini S&P traders as well. This is a 500 tick bar. Every point is $50. So if you come into a particular entry, and you can tell here, these swings are only $50, $60. So you would have to have a very, very short profit objective which is actually pretty small so you're going to have a tremendous number of trades and commission cost because every little swing that we talk about is not more than two points which means a hundred dollars so that is an impact that's affecting many commodities not just crude e-mini S&P and other commodities as well the ranges are narrowing down, and therefore the profit objectives are not being reached of many of these types of trades. So because of the small ranges, one of the solutions that I may suggest is that we are going to have some explosions of price. And we'll take a look at these positions, assuming, that of course, the price action is not so fast that it'd be almost very difficult at times that you can actually put on a trade. You can see this in hindsight, but uh, on some of these explosions, these explosions were getting started in less than five seconds. Uh, some of them with only a few seconds. 
and this can occur. So we basically, because we do see that our range is narrowing down, and then we have a explosion of price up and down, we're going to have to have some little bit of patience here in regards to our trading because we do not want to get chopped up when you're talking about a range of only 15 or 20 cents. One of the things that you can do, you, you can do some quick scalping and have a profit objective or five or six cents anywhere from, of course, 50, 70, maybe $80. So we'll be looking for our normal trades, our strategies, but if we begin to see a very narrow, flat price action, we're going to just sit and wait and have some patience here. This is John Sheely, Director of Research and Development, and I'm a daytrader.com.